All right, so you guys are probably wondering what the heck is going on. Jonathan, you put a video out that said that you're selling the Slumber Queen, but now you're back in the camper. Like, what's going on? And yes, I did make that video. And yes, I am still getting rid of the Slumber Queen. But if you recall, during that whole video, I thought that I had a buyer that was gonna come get it the next day. But as it turned out, they bailed out. And so I figured I might as well just keep using the camper until I have somebody who's like committed to come and get it. So yeah, I guess I might have one or two more videos in the Slumber Queen, but it's still, it's still, it's still for sale. But until then, we're just gonna keep using it. And today I'm going up to Mount Hood. I'm going snowboarding tomorrow. And I figured that I might as well just spend the night in the ski, in the ski resort parking lot. It's gonna gonna be snowy, it's gonna be cold, it's gonna be fun. So without further ado, let's just get going. There's Mount Hood in the distance. That's where we're headed. It's like really nice and sunny over here, over where I live, which is only, what, 35, 45 minutes away. It's like super cloudy and it looks like it's gonna rain, but over here by Mount Hood, blue clear beautiful skies that means that we're in for a good night hopefully So I just pulled up to the ski resort and I realized that I might as well go snowboarding tonight as well as tomorrow. I have a season pass this year and it's good for daytime riding and nighttime riding. It's about to be nighttime pretty soon here, but I don't really have much to do anyways. It's pretty early. And since I'm gonna be spending the night here in the ski resort's parking lot, I might as well take advantage of that and get some runs in tonight as well. Something about beer and snowboarding. They just go together like milk and cookies or something. Now, before I go out and get some runs in on the slopes, I do want to take a quick minute to talk about the sponsor of today's video, Jackery. This is my Jackery Explore 1000 power station. And you guys have seen me use this all the time by now. This thing is a beast and I would say it is a must have for any van lifer, truck camper, RV dweller, nomad, you name it. If you're on the road frequently or camping or whatever, you're gonna wanna get yourself one of these things cause it is a lifesaver. Now this particular model is a 1000 watt power station. That means that any electric appliance up to 1000 watts can be powered by this Jackery. Things like a toaster, electric kettle, blender, you name it. Those kinds of devices can easily be powered by this power station, which is awesome. This also has a 1,002 watt hour capacity, which means that you could go a really long time in between charges and still have all of your devices powered. Now on the actual interface, you have two USB-C ports, two USB ports, one 12 volt DC car port and three pure sign AC 110 volt ports. So those are gonna be like your standard wall plugs. Right now it is winter time obviously. And with that winter typically comes cold weather. Tonight, I'm actually gonna be using an electric blanket that I'll be plugging into my Jackery, and that is going to be my only source of warmth for the night. If you live somewhere where there's like tornadoes or any other kind of winter storms, this is a great way to stay prepared in the case of an emergency. Right now, you can get a 10% discount on any of their products on their website, 10% off any of those products with the code JYENCH at checkout, and make sure to click on the link in the description box down below so you can get your Jackery power station today. 
<sighs> oh, by the way, I'm actually, so I'm not gonna bring the GoPro up into the slopes tonight because, well, it's almost gonna be dark and the GoPros are really bad at dark. So don't worry, I will be back tomorrow and I will take you guys onto the slopes tomorrow. Tomorrow, tomorrow guys, I promise. You're not gonna miss out on much tonight. I rode a lot more than I was planning. I also found out that I'm not actually allowed to park in this parking lot specifically overnight, but they said that there's one more parking lot a little bit further down the road and there's an RV specific section. I'm just gonna change out of these clothes and get, get going to the other spot. So fingers crossed that we are able to find a spot. Now, I was planning to cook something pretty extensive. I had a recipe and I have ingredients already, but I'm really lazy and I'm tired from snowboarding. So our go-to lazy meal, some mac and cheese. Now this is a real dirtbag meal. PBR, mac and cheese. It feels fitting since I'm camped out in the parking lot of a ski resort. Bon appetit. Honestly, with the olive oil instead of the butter, that's pretty good. So you guys might have seen this earlier when I was going through my bag. Now it just occurred to me that I haven't drank whiskey on my channel in quite some time. You guys may or may not remember this, but I love whiskey. And back in the day, I used to drink it in my videos way more often. Do you guys out there drink whiskey? If so, what's your favorite whiskey? I'm always looking for new good whiskeys to try out. This one is High West American American Prairie Bourbon and it is it's some really good stuff. Cheers. Smooth like butter. Well guys, like I mentioned earlier, I'm going to be using this electric blanket tonight to stay warm and I'm not one to use electric blankets usually, especially when camping. I've never, I don't think I've ever actually slept a night with an electric blanket. I'm a pretty warm sleeper. This is gonna be a first. Hopefully this keeps us toasty warm tonight. I guess we'll just, uh, we'll keep it at medium and that should be plenty warm. And if we need to at any point during the night, I could always make it warmer, but I think, I think medium should be fine. It's already, it's already pretty toasty. I guess we'll see how this goes. I've never, never camped with an electric blanket before and it seems like quite the luxury. So 
Hopefully it keeps me warm tonight. I don't think it's that cold. Let's see. Oh, okay. Well, right now it's 24 degrees, so it's pretty nippy out. 24 degrees Fahrenheit. So that's not exactly a warm summer night. <laughs> I'm going to bed, and I will see you guys. I'll see you guys in the morning. Good night. blanket <clears throat> this blanket is so warm it's hard to find the will to get out of bed right now I never really make pancakes, so anytime that I do, I always mess them up. I either overcook them and they get a little burnt, or I try to flip them too soon so they break apart. But they always end up tasting good, so I think that's, that's what matters most. Chocolate chip banana pancakes. Mmm. <clears throat> that is delicious. I don't know why I don't make pancakes more often. This is so good. All right, let's do this.
pooped. It snows a little icy today in spots. You guys could probably hear it in the footage. It's kind of sketchy. Overall, not bad though. This is why you don't ride without gloves. Freaking hell. Oh, I just scraped the ground so hard and it was so icy. Ah, oh, man. Great. Guess I just gotta ride more careful. That hurt so bad when I slapped the ground without a glove. It was like really icy and I fell and I just whoosh, hit my hand on the ground and it was just like scraping on the ice and that hurt. That was really painful. That's why you don't ride without gloves. I'm probably just being a wimp. Anyways, I hope that the footage turned out okay. I've never, I've actually never used a GoPro while snowboarding. So fingers crossed that the footage looks good. And with that, I'm actually just gonna end the video here. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this type of video, make sure to let me know in the comments. I have a season pass to this mountain this season. So uh, if, if you're interested in seeing more camping snowboard videos, let me know because I can easily just keep on making them. Thanks like always for watching. You guys go out there and go on some adventures of your own. Live life, beat the status quo. Y'all know the drill. Enjoy the rest of your day and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.